Hi, I'm Stephanie Blake. I'm the CEO of Skylight. We're a venue development and placemaking firm. We see ourselves as urban archaeologists reshaping the cultural landscape through venues and forgotten places. We focus on historic sites because we appreciate the bones, the history, the legacy, and the brands that we work with appreciate the opportunity to come in and link their story to the cultural legacy of a building, a city, a neighborhood, and connect it to what they're trying to achieve in terms of the future. This building that we're sitting in at Domino, at the refinery, it's an anchor point for the community of Williamsburg because it represents the cultural legacy and the enduring spirit of what Williamsburg has been. So knowing this was originally a Dutch settlement, thinking through industrialization, when you look at the beautiful brick facade, every single window of the hundreds of windows, not one is the same size, because it was never meant to be filled in and never meant to be an actual building. It was meant to be the beautiful facade that housed the machinery. Up until 2005, it was still producing 50,000 barrels of sugar a day. When you walk off the elevator at the refinery and when you walk out into the glass dome that now exists, you look out at New York, you are overcome with possibility. And this is truly the most iconic view in the world. Our KPI for any event is how does it touch your soul? And so the storyline between the building, its rich industrial past with its role in the future, and that's the storyline that I think is crucial to the concept of adaptive reuse, bringing a building into the 21st century from what it once was represented as. When we bring in a brand like Hermes, their building informs the unforgettable experience that they want to create. And Domino in particular, now being this building where you can sit eye level with the bridges in New York, they designed this experience called Walking on Air specifically because of how the building positioned a certain perspective to Manhattan and to Brooklyn itself. And brands like that, I think, understand the hyper-locality of where you are, but also the magic of the storytelling that a space can enable a brand to tell. Skylight at Essex Crossing represents the enduring human spirit. When you walk into the vast 60-foot ceilings and you see the comb teeth across the side, you recognize that this was once a space that was the melting pot. Essex Market that is adjacent to our venue there was built over 200 years ago in 1818, not just as a market, but as a social gathering space. And at the time, downtown, the Lower East Side, was one of the most densely populated places in all of North America. And from that rose the creative spirit. And so then you had the artist community. And during the years of World War II, you had Helen Frankenthaler, Lee Krasner, Jackson Pollock, you had Picasso. That essence is felt when you're in that space. Brands appreciate being grounded in history, grounded in the legacy. A lot of the activation we do is about connecting those stories together and understanding that as humans, we have a curiosity about the past that informs the future. And the way that we build our venues takes that ethos into consideration and provides that magic to allow brands to do that as well. The Penn District represents the evolution of New York. It is a connected campus that shares historic 100-year-old buildings with new buildings. Moynihan Station was the sister building to the original Penn Station that was demolished and replaced by Madison Square Garden. And the value of it progressing from a post office to a train station is this concept of it being for the people. When we moved New York Fashion Week from Lincoln Center to the Century Old Post Office with zero renovation at the time, so many of the designers highlighted the skylights. They highlighted the fact that there were 60-foot ceilings and these amazing catwalks. It's a really interesting intersection. There's this opportunity to connect to not just the commuters, the passerbys, the locals, the tourists, and the actual New Yorkers. Brands can come in and experiment and do incredible things for a night, for an evening. The venue enables you to breathe life and have a heartbeat and create the excitement that is a catalyst for integration between tenants and residents and the consumers of today. The collaboration across industry and a space where you can go and meet with others and have what we call the art of gathering help shape your own experience.